Hey friends, we are on a road trip today. We are in central Trinidad, an island in the Caribbean. This place is called Carony, and we are going to the Carony Swamp. We will not be on a boat or anything or walking through swamp water, but we will be on land looking at the swamp. A lot of people, when they hear about the Carony Swamp, think about getting on a boat, a swamp boat that is, and going out to look at the Scarlet Ibis, which is the bird you're seeing on the right, a bright red bird that gets its color from the crustaceans and fish and other items it eats. Basically, when you come to this part of Trinidad, the, you, you know, it's mostly because you plan to take a tour to see the birds, snakes, the mangroves and whatnot. But a lot of people don't know that you can actually see a lot of that from on land. Of course, not as good as if you took the boat. However, you know, sometimes you want to do something, you don't necessarily want to pay a whole bunch of money, especially if you're with your family, and you just want to take a little drive and see something. Well, you're going to see where you can go as near to the Carony Swamp as possible without actually going on a boat. And if you follow the map, which is on your screen as well, you can see where I'm driving to. The way I came was from north. You can get to here from south as well. And once you turn down here, you'll notice there are different tour operators. That's one. And then upcoming on the right is another one. So there are different tour operators and it's all based on, you know, your preference, what it is, whatever else they offer and so forth. I, I'm not really highlighting any particular tour operator. Um, neither did they sponsor this video. I'm just simply passing through. That last tour operator gave me his um, pamphlet, whatever tour he gives. Now, currently in 2022, for locals that is, um, a typical tour on a swamp boat will be around $75. You know, everybody might have the individual price, but that's about the average. They would usually leave at 4 o'clock or some other particular time. They would go out into the swamp area and come back in at 6.30. There are others that will do it th throughout the day as well. Huh? It's not limited to that specific time. You can also sponsor a boat for yourself and go out anytime you like. And for that, you would have to um, make whatever reservations or communication with the tour operators to do that. Now, this road we're following, you can see it on the map, it goes all the way to the end of the swamp. And when I say to the end of the swamp, not out to sea, but to the end of the road, there is a swamp. The water, although it's on your right and it's on your left, you can't see it because of the mangroves. So this road will take you to where you will see the swamp properly. Now, interestingly enough, this compound here, I believe, is part of a tour operator, Kalpus, but I'm not sure if it is also part of the overall bird sanctuary area. I'm not sure. If, you, if somebody knows and they could fill me in, feel free. But this is more or less a private operation here. However, they are very accommodating and willing for you to look around, take pictures and so forth. And, and that's what I like, the friendliness, you know, not subjugating you to anything specific. But giving you a chance to, you know, get an idea of what the area is all about. You can see on the map where we are, where we came from, and the tour that they usually give. Now, 
here's the actual compound And there, I guess they can have instruction towards maybe even an event if you like. But these are the actual mangroves. And you may be wondering, well, where can I actually see these scarlet ibis or other birds from here? Well, really, it's if you're lucky. I'm going to show you a few today. Some, some of them you may not be able to see. If you have a really big screen, you'll be able to see it. You see where that red circle was? There's some birds out there. And I'm showing you just how large these mangroves can get. And you can pretty much walk to the swamp. Besides the trash, as we always see, you have to get past. This kind of broken, I don't know what to call it, path, wooden path could get you closer but I wasn't really in the mood to go closer there because it's really muddy and it sinks but if you have on some big tall rubber boots I guess you can look the something that you can't see too well from this footage is there are like mini crabs all over and I actually have to watch where I'm stepping to make sure I don't step on any of them I'll show you some of them later but you can you see those birds in the distance Again, if you have a big screen, you'll be able to see it. If you're watching this on your mobile, it's not likely that you'll pick it up. However, I did manage to capture a bluebird. Very nice, very unique, very rare to see it. You'll see that later in this video. Now, these mangroves that make up part of the Karani Swamp are really special and they're protected. It's about 12,000 uh, acres of land and it's not only governed by local law but by international treaties and conventions the Ramsar convention is one of those conventions that cater for the protection of wildlife and other sanctuaries around the world What some people don't know about these mangroves is it's really part, big part of the biodiversity because without it, that re evolving biological circle of eat and eat, in other words, the fish come to eat by the mangroves and the mangroves get their nutrients from the fish and so forth. If that's, if that's you know, hurt in some way by oil by ravished by humans or whatever it affects everything in the in the long run so these mangroves need to be protected and i'm not no, i'm not a biologist i'm not a horticulturist i'm not a geologist so if any of you are more expert than me feel free to comment in the comments area of my youtube channel and fill us in more about these mangroves I have some other videos where I went down south and I took some pictures of it. They're really nice to watch. It's interesting how the roots are exposed from above water. And you could see where I was playing with some of those. I shouldn't say playing, I was trying to find out whether the crab was alive or dead or what wasn't moving some interesting flowers and if you're thinking nobody's around yes there are people around I'm just trying to avoid getting them any cameras view some people bring their children and stuff and I personally can't imagine going on a boat, boat ride with lots of loud children Some people like to do that. You guys know that I'm big on serenity and 
peace so when I like to visit things I like to get the feeling of the atmosphere there's a lot of cats in, in this area and they weren't really much bothered about what we were doing and I guess that's a good thing because cats are also good for keeping out rats This is one of the loading bees where you could get into the um, boats for your tours. And this is what I meant when I said you could see a lot of these swamps. This is one area. And in case you're wondering why I don't have sound, it's because, like I mentioned before, there were a lot of kids yelling and shouting in the distance, and I just didn't want that to be picked up. I mean, it just took away from you know the feel of the area. Again, I'm a big believer in letting things be free. Animals, plants, just letting nature, you know, do its own thing. And of course, JBU's man cave is all about the raw, so I'm trying to give you as much footage so you get a feeling of what it's like to be there if you were there. Taking my time so you can pick up on everything rather than racing through stuff. There was another cat that, or kitten, that we found. This kitten was a bit strange. It was just looking down all the time. And here's where I found that bird. Can you see it? If you have your phone, I doubt you'll see this. But if you have a big screen, you'll pick up, pick up on it. It's in the center of your screen where the circle is. And that bird was looking for things to eat. And I love its color. There's like a blue sheen on it. Now leaving the area where you dock on the boats uh, is across from it when you go across the road. This is a path where a lot of the two operators come through. Of course I will go on the actual swamp tour. That's another video you'll have to look out for. But for now, I'm just showing you what you can access from via land. That's the road we came down.
And really, you could spend a lot of time just looking at one particular area and you start to see a lot of movement from insects, crabs, things that are flying like dragonflies. There's a lot of biodiversity in this area. Good for a science project. And more cats. This black cat wasn't sure what I was up to. Tried to give him space while trying to capture the swamp. But he was just checking me out. There he is up there. <laughs> it's like what are you doing here? This bridge I don't I don't think it's accessible. It doesn't look like it can hold up much weight. Just the weight of that cap probably. One of the surprising things about coming in here is the lack of signage. There was a lot of signage on the actual road to come inside. But from the highway one would think there would be a lot of signage about the Carney Swamp highlighting it and so forth. And I'm surprised that there isn't. So basically you could pass here if you don't know where you're going. You could pass it quite easily. That cat's still waiting for me to leave. So this is more or less the end of the road, quite literally, to get to the Carney Swamp. That is a termite's nest, and you can see all the trails it's made, and the mangrove, eating it away slowly. I have another video where I um, actually explore a bit of the termite's nest, and I visit to the botanical gardens. Check my YouTube channel if you haven't seen that. Now something you always have to watch out for in a lot of these videos is the fact that there can be snakes above and a lot of them may look just like the branches you see here of the mangroves. And the way they operate is they drop on the victims below. So not to be paranoid but you know just keep be watchful. In fact part of the tour is, uh, is, is, is the tour operator showing you some snakes or a snake on a branch. This is closer to the road outside of the compound. And what I'm going to show you is I'll try to see if I can catch some actual boats passing by. The mangroves here are quite thick so you will not be able to see a lot.
On the other side of these mangoes is the actual swamp. But really from this way it's not you know readily accessible. One good thing too about mangoes is they pre prevent coastal erosion. So really anywhere that you, there's that problem you would want to have mangroves. And there's one of the um, boats, or uh, there's two of them actually. I was trying to get what they were pointing to, but I didn't. I couldn't see it from here. Could have been a snake. Not sure. Can you see it? That's what they are looking at. I know you get an idea of what a tour would be like. And if you were wrong for Mother's Day on my channel, you would have recognized this flower. This is where I got it from. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, short tour today of Carney Swamp from on land. You can feel free to check it out or arrange your own tour. Make sure to check out my other videos and please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.